Hey everyone, Danny here from Into Fly Fishing, and we're going to take a close look at the Snowby Classic 4 5 weight, 8 foot, 6 inch rod. Snowby was kind enough to send this rod along to me to review. I had a great chance to test it out, and I'm really excited to tell you my thoughts. So sit back and enjoy the review. So first thing I always like to talk about is just how does this rod look? Now, the Snowbee Classic has a nice deep red, almost rust color to it. And I'm a big fan of the darker colored rods. I don't always love when something's very bright and flashy. I think this is stands out, but it doesn't look like it's too much or too extreme on the water. It's a nice dark, subtle color, but still stands out a bit. It has some some good gold ish silver accents around around the rod and, and the the logo is a nice gold stands out and i think it's a nice contrast to the the cork here and then you'll get an all black real seat here and not sure exactly how i feel about that all black real seat obviously not a deal breaker by any means something a little different design wise it's not often you get three three colors going on a rod with the the dark black, the the brown from the cork, and then the overall rod color with the accent pieces. But overall, I think Snowy made its mark on this rod, and I think that's important. The company has a look; they have a design that they like that works for them, and, and you absolutely find it on the classic series from Snowy. So overall, big fan of how this looks. Thinks it think it looks great on the water. Doesn't flash too much. Doesn't stand out too much that it becomes distracting but it's got a nice look to it looks good in those pictures and overall big fan of the appearance of the snowy classic so the snowy classic rods are high modulus light graphite medium fast action rods now this is a great just all-around option now this is snowy's entry level rod so it's good at a lot of things. It's not designed specifically to perform in a fresh water or salt water or still water or moving water scenario. This is made to perform in almost every scenario you ask it to. And sometimes that's just nice to have. Even if you're a beginning new angler or a very experienced angler that just needs a rod in the arsenal that you can trust to do a lot so if you're going to fish a reservoir one day then you're going to fish a river the next day then you're going to fish a stream the next day sometimes you just need a rod that's kind of a jack of all trades and that's what the the classic from snowby can do and even though it's quote unquote their entry level rod it doesn't perform like one and we'll get more into performance later but the, the materials are by no means skimped on and it's not created just for an entry level angler. I would say it's just they're more affordable rod, not even for beginners or more advanced anglers. It's just their most affordable option. And you can find this rod anywhere from a 2-3 weight up to a 7-8 weight. And that's kind of a unique aspect of these, these classic series as they have they're categorized under two weights. So this is the four or five weight. It's eight foot, six inches long. So really kind of that nice sweet spot for a great all around rod. So the balance and the feel of this, it's got a great overall balance to it. It's not too heavy, not too light. It's got some backbone to it. For a four or five weight, you don't expect it to be able to, to fly through 20 mile an hour winds in the middle of a lake, but you need it to have something there so you can make those longer casts and fight those more powerful fish. And this rod can do that. And since it's a medium fast action, it's not meant for anglers that are great, only need fast action rods. It's made for, for anglers, again, that need something that's going to perform in a few different scenarios. Maybe an angler that's not ultra confident in their casting ability 
This has forgiveness, but the forgiveness doesn't mean a lack of performance. It's more forgiving, but still can perform to where you are at in your skill level. I didn't find any limitations on this at all. So that, that medium action provides a nice feel when you're casting and even just when you're fighting fish or, or just holding the rod and, and looking to mend it, maneuver it. Just overall a great balance, a great feel to it. Now casting. Anglers always want to know, oh, how's that rod cast? How's that rod cast? And I was I was curious with the classic, how that would cast. I've tried out their ultra finesse setup, the Snowbee GXS series. I've tried out the Snowbee, the Denny Rickard signature series made for still water. And I loved how those casted. So I was curious, okay, how does their most affordable rod cast? Do I notice a huge difference from their $550 rod to their $150 rod? And while the $550 rod absolutely had aspects of it that were better, and you can really find that in the details, this $150 rod didn't feel too far behind at all. Now I fished it on one of those, those streams slash smaller rivers that has some really tight pocket sections, pocket water, really short casts, and ones that, that open up into pretty large, wide pools. So it's this four or five weight was really perfect for that. And being an eight foot six, I can get that reach if I need to, to high stick it somewhere, or if I need to make that longer cast to the opposite side of the pool where I saw a rise. And I felt like this, this rod was almost made for those situations. And that's the water I love to fish, so that's where I would most often use it, and I was a huge fan of actually how this, this operated, and I'm excited to work it into my rotation more and more. But I paired this with, with some of Snowbee's Thistle Down line, and I had it on a Spectre reel, and I can make a 30, 40 foot roll cast, no problem, but I could also lay down a five ten foot finesse just little flick and get it to to that seam i needed and, and drift it through so overall works great if i need that power to to really air it out but also can really work well in those tight areas and that's not something you can say about a lot of entry level rods from companies a lot of entry level rods are so hit and miss because a really well-known fly fishing company can put out an entry-level rod just as a way to kind of make some extra money if they're not selling as many of their high-end rods. But for an entry-level rod, no complaints, works well with the power, works well with the finesse, fights through some of that wind, lays down those flies softly. I casted size 4 streamers and size 18 nymphs with this. And not only did the thistle down line work great, but the the rod let me air it out and i had a lot of fun seeing where i can get this rod to and a lot of fun just seeing if i could cast around that rock that was in my way interrupting my drift or or high stick it through some of that faster moving water and it, it felt good i was able to hit my spots after just a few minutes of really getting used to it Now control, so yeah, I was able to make my casts and things, but once my fly's on the water, as we all know, my work's not done. A lot of times, especially in fast moving pocket water, you have to mend, you have to get that, so once it hits that pocket, it's drifting through perfectly. And I felt like I had a great control. The response rate on this rod was really a pleasant surprise. I didn't know if I was going to have to kind of wait a half second for the line to move or for the tip to respond, but control wise, if I miss my spot by six inches to a foot, quick little mend, I was able to get it to where I needed, accomplish that drift before it was too late. So I know how important control is, especially with the four or five weight, a little more finesse fishing, and I felt like, like this rod did quite well. And I just had a lot of fun testing out this rod, the, the limits of it, and what it could do, what it couldn't do, and where it was great, where it maybe wasn't as great. So I didn't find any areas of huge complaints. The overall sensitivity, obviously this wasn't 
created to be that ultra high performance, ultra high end fast action rod for the very experienced angler. This is one that's a jack of all trades and it was really good at what I needed it to be really good at and that's all you can really ask for a more entry level rod. Like I mentioned already, this rod is $150, so I would not hesitate for a second to pay $150 for this rod. It's from a reputable company for one. I've had the pleasure of testing out quite a few of Snowbee's products here in the last couple months, and I've yet to find one that I didn't like. The Ultra Finesse setup blast to use on those small creeks. That Denny Rickards rod one of the most fun rods I've ever had just casting wise and then the classic I'm just gonna keep this in my truck and it's going to be my my jack of all trades my workhorse the one I beat up a little bit and I don't have any worries about it it's it's going to do what I ask it to it, it performed well in some backcountry I was in the past couple weeks and I'm really excited to to see more that this rod can do so overall Big fan of the Snowy Classic, again, anywhere from a 2-3 weight all the way up to a 7-8 weight. So if you need that finesse and then that, that workhorse, that's an option. Or if you want something that kind of does a little bit of both, this 4-5 weight has a, has a great feel to it. Pairs well with a black reel. I think the black on black looks sharp. Also, I had a silver, silver reel paired with it. Kind of a nice contrast there, but definitely has my stamp of approval and I'm excited to see all that this rod can do. So if you enjoyed this review, make sure you head over to our YouTube page, hit that subscribe button, and stay tuned for some more reviews. Thanks for watching.